What's happening, War Gamers? Welcome to the After Action Report. Wakanda versus Hydra. Alien ship crashes down downtown and sword uh, sword base. Yep. And uh, that was that was a bizarre game. It was. That it was. was. Like I feel like uh, I feel like a lot of our attacks for both of us were just they they were firing on all cylinders. Yep. Yep. I mean, when you look at the board, you didn't bring a very punchy list, and yet yet I have two guys removed from the table. And- I have one on the injured side and another one about to hit the injured side. Yep. So you punched really well above your weight in all this. Uh, meanwhile, like my guys, like Storm <laughs> punched well above. Her. Killmonger did what Killmonger does. Yes. I, like uh, we now, expected that. I think the bigger thing is I think our dice were really solid all the way through the game, and I think because Mbaku got to do a silly number of attacks on his turn, he got no, to. You mean Killmonger? Apple. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's correct. That's I, correct. I, in all terms, I burned four cards to yeah. do that shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, I, I believe I, I may have lost this game right here. Uh, uh, but yeah. Like, in order, in order to do what Killmonger did, I burned Jabari Chieftain, Spirit of Wakanda, uh, Wakanda Forever, yeah. and, um, and Usurp the Throne. Yeah. So I, I burned everything to do it. And I, I had to, because if I, if I gave Pyro one turn, Yes. With where he was, yeah, like that was Pyro was gonna mess up in Baku. Yeah, uh, that turn easily. Uh, he would have he would have gotten incinerate on everyone. Yes. very easily as yeah. well. He had all the power in the world. He was could have firewalled a whole bunch of things as well. Like basically that that was that was a big turning point it in was. this game. Like yeah. if if I if I had let Pyro go, I think the game could have easily gone a different direction with how the dice were going there. I agree. Um, so I think that's kind of what it comes down to. And frankly, like when when Killmonger gets a chance to go off like that, yeah, like it just it gets a little bonkers. Yeah, he needs to get shut down, and like having uh, giving you priority for round two definitely was was the defining factor for that, right? So the funny thing is, is when I used Spirit of Wakanda, I thought it was just going to be like one condition that I get to get rid of, but the fact that it's like all yeah all conditions. Um, I think I might have cheated a little bit. Panther shouldn't have lost his conditions. Oh, okay. I don't think Panther really made a huge difference with no, his stuff. No, but, but yep. yeah, Panther shouldn't have lost his conditions. It should have just been that Killmonger in that oh, instance. Okay. Um, I missed the other on that one. Okay. Uh, what did what did Panther have? Panther had shock and infant rage. Uh, no, I don't think you really did enough. I, I, you weren't doing the big enough attacks that particular round into Panther. I don't think Panther really dropped any of my guys. Uh, it was more. He, he he might have taken a couple more points of damage, and maybe I have a power or something. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think it really changes the flow of, of how the game was going down or anything like that, but yeah. I'm glad I caught that right now. Uh, but yeah, getting rid of all the conditions on, on Killmonger, just kind of keeping him around a little bit, and getting rid of that shock. That was the big one, because yes. he was shocked going into that. Yep. And uh, one less die. I mean, Pyro still went down, but yep. I might not have taken uh, Zola. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. And, and no, I, yeah, yeah, I think that would have been a thing. Um, although, actually, you did get perfect on Pyro, so you would never have attacked Zola. Why wouldn't I? Okay. Oh, wait, never mind. You had another two attacks. Yeah, well, fine, fine, yeah, fine, fine. I used yeah. the one action, then yeah. I, I did my second action into Zola, and then I Wakanda forever yeah. uh, to do some stuff. And Panther, I mean, Panther didn't do a whole lot this game. He didn't need to do a lot. He did. He did pull my two characters out into a position where the, the your usurp throne really paid off, right? Yeah. So. yeah. Kill, Killmonger is really what kind of won it uh, yeah. for me in this one. Uh, although Storm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Storm. So my my turn to play was move up here, kill Storm, take this point, move over here, take this point, and I was like, oh yeah, I got you, this game. You just did it in one uh, activation more or one action more than you needed. Uh, well, I, well it, I was hoping to cut her down right then and there, and then like, oh, okay, I'm stuck here. I'll cut her down and then move to the next point. Not a big deal. And that's funny because I think both of us looked at that fight and thought, yeah, you you got this. Like, yeah. I think I think uh, a steel rush from Zemo should have probably had that one. He was shocked, so her thing did go off, and like because she rolled the wild, she got the extra thing from your your chieftain stuff. So, On my attacks, yeah, yeah. So I I think. She definitely works a lot better with Mbaku uh, than she did just hanging out in Wakanda, right? So. Oh yeah, yeah. Like get, when whenever that wild shows up, being able to like transfer, uh, like get another success was was big. I didn't expect her to take out Zemo the way she did. Yeah. Because I think I got him in two spikes. Yes. yes. Which was not anticipated at all, right? Like that was that was a little wacky. Because uh, I I honestly did think Zemo that was a fight Zemo should have won. 
Yeah, that's, right. that's, that's how I imagined things were going to go. I did think I was going to lose this point back here, but I thought it was going to be a switch kind of thing. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I'll probably be able to fight this back. That's, that's not a big deal. Yeah. And that was the funny thing about this game. I think it came down to just a couple, there was a couple instances where the rolls just didn't come through for you. Yeah. Right? And, uh, like, Zemo. Well, I, and actually, I would probably argue, like, while Zemo was uh, maybe to take down Storm in one go, I was hoping that the way the dice had been going could have done it. But for the most part, it wasn't like, oh, wow, I didn't roll well enough. That sucks. It was more of a, actually, we rolled ridiculously high results for a yeah. lot of our attacks. And it was just like, everything was on the whole time. So yeah, I definitely had a bunch of turns where it's like, you got like four hits on me. Uh, here's two crits and a strategic genius. I'm, I'm taking one. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you, you actually had quite a few turns where like our uh, defense rolls were, I should have done a lot more damage based on the dice rolls. And your defense just kind of showed up and like, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I think Pyro was the only one who really just didn't roll defense. Yes, yeah. Um, I, I'm going to admit that uh, Zemo and Strucker hanging out over here on the first turn was a mistake. Uh, the original plan was Strucker was going to come to the middle. I'm like, ah, do I want him facing up with uh, Killmonger right now? I don't know. As it turns out, I probably should have done that because that's where he had to go anyway. So. Yeah, it, it would have been one less uh, or one more action of attacks into things. Yeah. Uh, would you have changed anyone in your team? Um, I like the team. Unfortunately, I feel like Strucker's not – or not Strucker, sorry. Uh, Amordo is not the best with the rest of these guys. I, I really feel like everyone else had a lot of great things they were doing. And while Mordo could power them up and deal damage to them on their turn where hopefully they uh, – they can heal it up with their second attack and, and remove something. You weren't able to use the ferocity of Sidorak as much as I think you wanted to. Yeah, I think I'd rather that I, either on uh, some people with healing factor or some people who are just bigger and throw bigger attacks. Yeah, and that was, that was something I actually commented on before this game started. I felt like you kind of lacked your bruiser type character. Yeah, well, and I was hoping that ferocity of Sidorak would uh, shore that up. And I definitely, my second, uh, I did a Ra Reigns of Ragadoon on, uh, a Ragador, sorry, on... Uh, Killmonger, I think it was. Yep, yep. You and got and dropped him, which was great. But then I threw another one at Black <sighs> Panther, and I probably should have just uh, done a normal attack and kept the power up for Ferocity for the next turn or whatever, because Mordo that, didn't have enough power. That's for fair. It. Yeah, Mor Mordo got a little power starved in there. Um, but, and I think that's actually one instance where uh, Panther should have taken one more point of damage because I think I rolled one too many defense die on that one. Yeah, that's fair. Because uh, I think you only rolled one success, and I think I only rolled one success. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was a disappointing follow-up Reigns of Ragador. Yeah, it was. And you know what? <laughs> I was okay with it because we had some, like even with a bad roll, it, we still had a way above average dice. So. Yeah, and I mean, we have more characters off the table than on <laughs> yeah. at this point, Yeah. Uh, which is definitely not where I kind of saw this game going. Uh, but yeah, that's it's interesting. I, I'm curious as to I wonder who like a decent other th uh, three threat character in this particular list would have been for you. Yeah, I keep thinking something like Blob or switching two threes out for uh, something like I don't know Rhino or uh, the Rhino and a two threat or Rhino and a Bullseye maybe. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there, there's a couple different options. Um, I like how my list fired off. I, yeah. I think at 15 points, this is actually a pretty a pretty strong. Uh, 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 Black Panther Wakanda list. Would there have been a place for maybe splashing someone in place of Black Panther? Uh, possibly. Yeah. Like I don't think I don't think Panther made a big enough impact on the game that like I would say he was uh, vital to this. I don't know who I would have replaced Panther with. I mean, well, I was just thinking someone who can do some dice fixing or something. Like that, my my fair. first thought was someone like New Tony. Yeah, yeah, Invincible yeah, Iron Man. Totally. Yep. Yeah, Invincible Iron Man could have been an interesting one as well. Though I didn't really need the dice fixing, but I guess like in, in normal circumstances... In normal dice, getting normal a little dice. bit more consistent uh, uh, chieftain would be... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, yeah, just with Jarvis giving a little bit of extra extra rerolls there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like that that probably could have been uh, probably could have been a different decent answer right there. Uh, or even just somebody who, uh, you know, could maybe like, I don't know, bully some people from a distance. Yeah, that's fair. Because uh, that, that was the other thing. Like, a lot of my attacks were very close range. A lot of range two attacks. Yeah, range uh, two, a little bit of range here. three, and that's it. Storm, I think, was the only one that really had the long range stuff. Um, Killmonger's Black Ops strike, which I never used, is a range three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, uh, I mean, the knob carry attack is a range three as well. But, uh, I mean, it, <laughs> the, the range was never really a problem because of the, the nature of our of our thing. Like, the, the sword base is a very, very close 
Yeah, a little, uh, little claustrophobic on this map. Yeah, just, just, a, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit there. Um, and I, I think that's just kind of, it is what it is, right? Yeah. So, But yeah, so there we go. Wakanda versus Hydra. Uh, you're going to keep experimenting, and yeah. uh, I'm going to keep throwing uh, stuff back at it. And uh, we'll, we'll see what sticks in the future for that one. Sounds good. So yeah, uh, join in the conversation below. And of course, if you want to support the channel, patreon.com slash hspanstudios. We'll see you next time. Happy Wargaming.